Hi you guys, it's your girl Tara and welcome back to my channel and in today's video I am going to be doing a review first impression on the new Urban Decay Naked Cyber Palette. Now I'm pretty excited about this because I've never tried an Urban Decay palette so I want to see what all the hype is actually about. But before you leave, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll never miss a video from me. So if you want to see my review slash first impression on the new Urban Decay Naked Cyber Palette, then just keep on watching. Okay, you guys, I'm really excited about today's video because I'm going to be doing a look with the Urban Decay Naked Cyber Palette. Now, I have never used an Urban Decay palette, so this is definitely going to be a first impression. I have no idea what I'm about to jump into. And the packaging is going to look like this, and it comes with a mirror and a brush. Right there. Now, with this palette, it basically looks like there's a satin shade. I believe there's two or three mattes, and that's it for mattes, and the rest are going to be shimmers and duochrome. If you guys do not know what duochrome is, I'm going to be putting a screenshot up above so that you guys can see what that is. And I will be using a duochrome on my lid. So let's just jump right into it. I'm very excited. I ended up getting this on Cyber Monday with some of my Ulta points. Okay, so the first shade I'm gonna go into is right here, AI, AL. And I am going to be trying out this brush, but if I don't like it, I will have, go in with my other brushes. Okay, and I can already tell you guys right now that there is some major kickback in here. Let's see. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see that shade. There's some kickback. But a little kickback never hurt anyone. Okay, so that shade really did not show up and I didn't like the brush. So I'm gonna go in with the JH32 and I am going to be going in with the shade Virtual. It's like a peachy shade. Same thing with this, there's some kickback. I'm gonna put this over that one shade that did not come out. Okay, so so far, they're okay. I wouldn't say that this is something that's that great. It seems like it's blending pretty good. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Okay, so honestly, you guys, I had to go in with a second layer of the virtual because it really wasn't showing up. So I would say that these definitely are not pigmented, pigmented, which actually is very disappointing. Okay, that is definitely starting to look so much better. All right, now I'm gonna be going in with the color Gadget. It's like a pinky shade. Okay, so once again, you guys, with the kickback. You guys can see that, yeah. But we are just gonna work with it. Okay, so this shadow, I'm going to already tell you guys that I really like how it's going on and I'm liking how this one's blending. Yeah, I definitely like that. And we're going to go in again, the other eye. Okay, you guys, so I was gonna make a holiday gift guide video, and now I really can't do that because some of the items that I wanted to put in the video, I actually got for some other people, so they would know, and you know, I don't wanna do all that. So maybe next year. Okay, so I am definitely liking how this looks so far, and I'm gonna go ahead and take the JH45, and I'm going to go in and blend that. It's pretty blended already. You know, just windshield wiper motions. Okay, you guys, I'm about to be very brave. I am going to dive in to 
the shade called Bite. Now it does look like a burnt orange, but it actually is a red matte. So we're gonna see how this is gonna work. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my outer corner. Okay, you guys, I changed my mind. We're not gonna go in with Bite for the outer corner. We're going to go over what we just did with the JH31 brush. Right here, like I said, I'm gonna be brave. Whoa, okay. Yeah, when I say whoa, that only means one thing. You really don't need a lot of this one, especially do you see that kickback right there. So I just tap, tap, just right into it. See, I only have that much on there and I'm just gonna go. Yeah, so on it really doesn't look red. Looks like a burnt orange. It's not bad. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Now this one's blending pretty good too. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with the JH45. Try to blend this out. But I already know it's pretty blended anyway. But I know definitely these colors are not pigmented from what I'm used to, but it's okay. We always gotta try something out new. And I hope everyone is going to have a very safe and happy holidays. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the JH39. I'm gonna go actually in with Meta Data, which is going to be this shade right here. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this one on for my brow bone. Okay, so we have to go in a few times because it's not picking up. Okay, you guys, so we're gonna be going in with a different shade because that shade was not working. And I want to say I'm going to be going in with not a boat or not a bot or whatever, right there. And this one is a shimmer, but I'm just put it right up here. Okay, so, so far, I'm really not impressed. Um, they are blending, there's just not a lot of matte shades in here. I'd rather there be more mattes in here. Maybe three or four shimmers would be good, but as we all know, you really can't put a shimmer where a matte would go. I'm gonna blend this out, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the duochrome on. Okay, you guys, so now what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to go ahead and grab the JH43 brush and I'm going to go ahead and do my lower lash line and I'm going to actually go in with that same shade, Bite. Not bad. It almost matches my hair. Okay, you guys, so now for the duo chrome, they only have two of them. So there's this one, that one's called Cyberspace, and then the next duo chrome is gonna be Y3K. So I believe I'm going to be using Y3K. Now they say for the duo chrome to just do it with your finger. So at first I'm gonna do it with my finger, and if it doesn't pop, then I'll go ahead and use my Mac Fix Plus. But that is the color right here, so you guys can see. Okay, I'm gonna go in one more time. And I actually do like this shade. Okay, I'm gonna be going in with my JH44 brush. And I'm actually gonna wet this with the Max Fix Plus. Go ahead and put some more of that Y3K. It's just not popping the way that I want it to. So this usually will do the trick. 
Okay, so what I just did is I went ahead and mixed a duochrome and a shimmer. So I went in with Y3K and then I went in with Static. So Static is going to be right here. All right, I'm going to go back in with the JH32 and I'm going to go in with Virtual and that was one of the peach shades that I did for my transition. I'm just going to go over right here to diffuse this out. Okay, so, so far that is the look and I am liking it a little bit more now, um, but it's not there. So I might have to do one more thing. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with Override. So I'm just going to mix some shimmers together and mix some duochrome. I'm just trying to get it to pop a little bit more. It's really not. So I actually have used other eyeshadow palettes that have shimmers in it that will pop a little bit more than these do. And these really aren't popping. So I'm sad about that. Yeah, so I did a few things. I went ahead with my finger, like it says, and I did it for the lid, wasn't popping. Then I went ahead and grabbed the MAC Fix Plus with my brush, and it's still no. But I'm just trying to work with what I have right now. I definitely will say it's very glittery. But could people see me from like a mile away now? Okay, so that is my eye look and I'm about to go do the rest of my makeup off camera and then I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I have the rest of my makeup on. I just ran into my son in the hallway and he said that my eyeshadow looked very shiny and it normally doesn't look like that. So on that note, I am ready to give my final thought on the Urban Decay Naked Cyber Palette. Uh, I believe that there should definitely be more mattes in here. Definitely. There should be at least five or six. It's, it was kind of hard to work with this palette with only two or three mattes. The shimmers and the duochromes, I was expecting so much more. So it's okay. Would I recommend this and would I purchase it again? Absolutely not. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.